It may well be that the 10 years that Cass Business School has been in existence as Cass Business School will be remembered for one thing and one thing only, and that is the financial crisis. Was that financial crisis caused by a failure in corporate governance? That's something that Igor Filadochev of Cass Business School has been looking at, and he is here. Igor, is, is that the reason, a failure of corporate governance that led to this disaster? It is very hard to pinpoint a single reason which uh, created uh, what many commentators will consider as a chaos in uh, financial and global markets in 2008 and uh, afterwards. But certainly corporate governance played a very important role. Uh, and uh, uh, now when we uh, study uh, what has happened in big financial institutions at the time, uh, we came to the realization that uh, there were numerous failures um, on the side of incentive systems which created uh, um, uh, risk-taking culture, excessive risk-taking culture in financial institutions. There was a lack of board oversight and uh, independent directors uh, whose duties um, are to make sure that managers take measured risks and make decisions in the interest of shareholders, uh, obviously were complacent and overlooked the uh, deficiencies in uh, incentive systems and uh, uh, risk management systems in the companies. Uh, their failure on the side of shareholders to uh, exercise their shareholder rights and make sure that uh, companies are run in the interests of shareholders and don't destroy value uh, as has happened in, uh, in an, on, a, on a number of occasions uh, in uh, big financial institutions. CAS has very much led the way in thinking on ethics and corporate governance. I think we were the first business school, one of the first to appoint a professor of ethics. We've been thinking about it for a long time. What, what changes would we like to see and what changes are we going to see in the years ahead? Well, it should be um, uh, quite a dramatic shift in people's attitudes and people's approach to uh, what does it mean to be uh, responsible as a businessman, as a business leader. Uh, and um, uh, Cass involved uh, in a project uh, which is sponsored by a uh, uh, Lord Mayor, uh, which is uh, called uh, Bringing Trust Back in the City of London. So obviously there is a big issue uh, with regard, as I said, with the uh, system of incentives, uh, uh, maybe excessive short-termism and a lack of uh, uh, longer-term uh, views uh, and uh, focus on the sustainability rather than short-term profits. Um, um, all these uh, changes require quite a dramatic effort on the side of uh, uh, the regulator, the government, um, uh, the business practitioners and academics who need to uh, understand uh, what is wrong with existing culture and what should be done. One thing that I know you're particularly interested in, which is causing a great deal of excitement, is the stewardship code. Very briefly, can you give us an introduction? Well, in a way, uh, Stewardship Code was a response to the uh, uh, financial crisis of 2008, uh, when the questions were raised, uh, where were the shareholders, where the institutional investors, pension funds, insurance companies, who uh, are um, uh, w w w the main types of owners uh, in the UK PLC, did they exercise their ownership rights? Did they engage with managers, with um, uh, executives of uh, uh, big financial institutions? Uh, or they gave them complete free hand uh, in the way they run their businesses and make decisions? Uh, and there is a concern that uh, um, uh, institutional investors in particular do not engage with companies in their portfolio to the extent they should as responsible owners. Hence the uh, idea of a stewardship code has been introduced, uh, which is, um, uh, if you want, a code of conduct, uh, not for companies, uh, the combined code on corporate governance, uh, but for investors, uh, which um, uh, outlines in a great deal of detail what are their responsibilities in addition to their rights. No longer can investors just sit back and be passive. Exactly. Igor Vladichev, thank you very much. Thank you.